So hi guys and welcome back to our channel, a subscribers I love you. And if you are new here, if it's your first visit, thanks very much for stopping by, you're very welcome too. So, today's video, I've got to let you know, great timing, is going to be uh, my first shoe in order of 2022. I haven't actually done any uh, clothing hauls apart from a little uh, Primark one a week or two ago. Uh, for a long time, since sort of, well, autumn last year late summer I think actually so here we go again I like doing the Shein order in particular because they've got such a you know variety and their prices are very good too aren't they so anyway just a little bit of housekeeping I am five foot eight I used to say five eight and a half to half is important but I can't say that anymore because I've shrunk been to the doctors for a, you know an MOT type thing and um, I'm five eight now anyway let's move on from that so 5'8 tall, I am uh, UK size 22, which is a US 18, and uh, I believe European 50, I think that's right. So yeah, so let's just get straight into this one, shall we? I will put, uh, if you can remember from all those long time ago, I will put all the uh, descriptions and the, um, you know, the price and the size uh, on the screen when I'm trying on particular things. All right, so this is the first item. It's a dress. It's in a lovely navy colour because um, I don't know if you did see my uh, my previous haul, uh, Primark one. I did get a few navy bits and um, yeah, I do want to go navy this year. Uh, I think it's a really nice, quite flattering colour and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's get on with the show. Okay, so hi guys, here we are with this first dress. Uh, it's very, very pretty. I do really like it and it's quite light nice and uh, floaty although it does have a lining if you can see here I'm gonna have to tip you down a bit in a minute I'm gonna have to really blooming think this uh, this area where I was gonna fill but anyway for today it's gonna have to do so yeah so it's a nice dress let me tilt you down because otherwise you're not gonna see the uh, the ruffles etc I can do that for you very awkward but you know there we go one thing at a time Right, so there we go, so that's the length of it, it's kind of like a smock dress I suppose you'd say. The length of the arms are fab and uh, it's got some elastication there but it's not at all tight. Um, all the dresses and actually everything I'm trying on is in a 3XL which is equivalent to a UK 22. So um, there we go, yep, nice, roomy, it's a bit booby on me actually because it's got this, you know, um, it, it does untie here. But, uh, you know, so you can have it open if you wanted, but uh, even with it really tied up like that, it's still a bit booby on me. It's not actually tight across the chest, but it's just quite a long opening there. So I would probably just like stitch that up a couple of stitches, something like that, and then it'll be fine. So I'm wearing my snag tights with these, actually. So uh, my last uh, video but one was uh, about these snag tights, so I highly recommend watching that. And, ooh, Maybe I should get a navy pair now, huh? Yeah, so anyway. This one, yeah, very nice. I'm not sure what the material is, actually. Let me see if I can find the label. It's probably at the back, isn't it? So I'll put it up on the screen afterwards anyway. But um, yeah, so this is the first one. Uh, as I say, the, uh, the lining is separate and goes down to there, which is, you know, fine, isn't it? Number one, done. On to the next one right so this is the second one guys and this isn't so successful unfortunately um I mean I'm still keeping it in fact I think a lot of these dresses will probably sell I think I don't think you return them anyway but I've just started uh, Slimming World today again actually signed up and everything online so I'm definitely doing it from today so give it a couple of months I will try this on again and you should be able to see the difference hey hold me to it hold me to that um, so what this is, is uh, it's got a little ruffle at the bottom, a little frill if you like. Um, it's nice, I mean most of these I bought for work, just to wear with either a cardigan or something over the top, you know, I like that kind of style. This one again hasn't got pockets, the last one didn't. But it is, it is a 3X, um, it's a lot thinner material than I thought, going by the picture. But uh, it's nice, I like that, you know, it's nice and uh, floaty, it is 100% polyester, I have checked this one. Um, but as you can see, it's very, it's very tight. It's got a long zip at the back. The zip goes right the way, you know, just feeling it, down to about here. When it arrived, it was about there. I wouldn't be surprised if someone else has tried it on 
and uh, again, you know, didn't have much luck with it in that sense. Um, so I actually zipped it up to about there, put it on, and then did the other bit up. So it does, you know, zip up. It's not a problem there. Oops. There you go. And this bit isn't either. It's just the the chest bit. So you know, maybe if you're a pear shape, uh, it would it would fit you better. But obviously, us apple shapes, we've got more of a bust and more of a belly um, with slimmer legs and slimmer arms. Um, so maybe you know that this part here would accommodate more of a pear shape and a slightly smaller bust. But anyway, you know, being the same size as 3XL. But anyway, I do like it. I am going to keep it because, as I say, very shortly, it won't be so tight. So that's that one done. Moving on to the next. OK, tried some moving on. I like this one. This is more like it. Again, it's a 3XL. Um, exactly the same material as the last one because it is 100% polyester. I've also just checked that first navy dress and that is 100% polyester as well. It just feels different. Don't know why. I don't know how that is. But it's got a different texture and everything to it. Anyway, moving on to this one. Again, perfect for work with a black card or something on. Uh, it's got this, so it's basically like a pussy bow one. So let's do that up. I've just got my mirror here actually just behind you, so let me just see if I can do that. Oh, yeah, it's very smart. What'd you say, eh? What'd you say? Very professional, huh? Hmm. Um, so yeah, absolutely perfect, perfect for what I needed it to be. Um, it's it's still, um, you know, it's not loose on the bust, but it's certainly not, you know, like the other one was, like constricting, etc. So yeah, this is fine, can wear this straight away. Um, what I'll do as well, I've got a pack of two headbands, I'll just mention here now, and they were pound for the two, I'll show you up close. So obviously they're sort of for work as well. Um, See what I'm bung on them. Well, mainly for work, but you know, a pound for two. You can't really go wrong, can you? So, there we go. With either shoes or boots. And uh, that was a quick one again. I like this one. It feels really comfy. So did the first one, apart from the, the, uh, the extra long sort of uh, keyhole, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the second one, obviously, not at the moment. But, um, yep, I like this one. This is perfect. This is very me for work type stuff. So... There we go. On to the next. I think that's the last dress I've got actually. Let me just uh, check because you can probably see I've got some things here. So I have got, oh, tell you what, while well, I've got this on, I've got one of these sort of um, waistcoat come cardigan type things. Again, for this kind of thing, for work, predominantly. So let's just give this a go. As always, I haven't seen any of this stuff on. I've only just literally taken it out of the packages. In fact, I'm still in the packages. Um, and then I'll try it on and you see it for the first time as I do. So yeah. So again, see that can be worn with that. It's got a tie belt as well. I don't know if it's got loopholes, is it? Yeah, it has. So um no, I could even wear that. Uh, you know, that headband doesn't look that great at the moment, does it? So, let's take that off. But, um, yeah, so you can wear it with or without. Let's just put it on. It's just another little extra, you know. It can make, it can make an outfit, can't it? Uh, Alright, let's get this side on. yourself for a minute so yeah you know that is a possibility isn't it i mean in the colder weather uh yeah we'll just have it like that we'll have it loose i mean i think the dress on its own looks better to be hugely honest but uh yeah it's a possibility so that's another item that i will uh give you all the details of on the screen so yeah actually i think the dress looks better without it because that is kind of boxing me a bit, if you know what I mean. So yeah, anyway, that is another item for you. Something that you might like to get. I'm not sure if it comes in different colours, but obviously I just went for the back because it's more 
I don't know, formal. Did you see that? Did you see the static on that then? Oh my god. I'm not gonna get a, get a shock. Right, so what have we got next? I have got uh next. Oh, yeah, now what am I gonna wear that with? Mm. Right, I've got a top and a I've got a blouse and a skirt. Then I've got two of these little dicky, they're called dicky collars. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're basically little like false collars. So that, you know, especially when I, it is mainly for when I'm at work because obviously I've got this tattooed here and everything. And yeah, although it's not a huge issue, yeah, I don't always want to be showing that when I'm perhaps meeting clients and stuff. So, what they are, this is literally these two little, that's what they were saying. So hang on. Where's the front? Have you got a front or a back? Oh, I don't think so. Anyway, basically it's like that. So you put that on and then, you know, you put it on under your jumper or whatever you're wearing. You know, I'll try and uh, find something in a minute. I might put that navy dress back on and, and show you. So I've got that black one there. Be careful on the screen. And I've got a white one. I think, yeah, yeah, they are different actually. That one's sort of a ribbed one. And... This is like a white, uh, sort of plainer one, actually. But you can get them really fancy, you can get lacy ones and all the rest of it, but they're functional. Oh, I suppose, like a bib really, aren't they? But it's just if you're wearing like a lower cut thing, not too low obviously, otherwise it wouldn't cover it. And um, just to cover up a little bit, I guess. So yes. Let me get those other couple of things on. Then I've got how many? Three or four little bits. I can just show you three of gardening things because of my allotment that I've got. So um, I'll go through them. And one is just some pads for the bottoms of your, uh, what's it called? The balls of your heels, in case. I just thought I'd get them. I don't really need them at the moment, but they were £1.20, so I thought I'll bung them in as well. So, yes, let's get on to that final combo okay see you in a minute okay guys so here we are again with uh the next two items as promised so this is just literally a long thin tube skirt as you can see uh i think from memory it was about six pounds can't totally remember but obviously everything will be on the screen when you come to view this and this top i think it's a blouse they're calling it it's it's really beautiful actually it's very um Versatile because you know you could wear this on a night out, couldn't you? But you could also, I don't know, wear it to something more perhaps obvious or something a bit jazzy. Anyway, so it's got these um ties again here, so it's all pussy bows and things, isn't it? At the moment, I'm loving it. So, yeah, so uh, you do that up. Let me just check in the mirror again while I'm doing that. So, yeah, I think that looks really good. It's a um, 3x again. So it's got plenty of room actually, lots of room here, not at all, 100% uh, polyester again, looks a bit lurexy doesn't it, um, I'll come closer so you can see the actual material, it is a bit see through so uh, obviously you probably wear a vest under it but no, it's not totally see through so it's okay for me now, um, yeah not a lot else to say about that, I really love it, as I say I think it's versatile. I did look at some of the reviews of this particular one actually, so oh, it might be a bit short, it might be whatever, but the people on there are absolutely loving it. And you know, they, some of them did have pictures of them wearing it, which always helps, doesn't it? So um, yeah, so that's that one. Really pleased with that actually. Um, yeah, obviously this skirt, because uh, it just shows everything here because I'm raffle shape. Although hopefully some of it, well not hopefully, some of this will be going soon. Um, right, and then all I've got to do is show you those or four other little bits so let me just sit down again and we can do that quite quickly right guys so me again and now i've got those promised other little bits as i usually do at the end of a sheen haul these days certainly anyway oh yeah i can't really do that with this can i i wanted to try and maybe try one of these on it won't really work with this because this has already got a collar but might give you an idea let's try with the black one shall we oh Hole's a bit small. Let me head through that. Hold on a second. Oh, God, it is small. Anyway, oh, completely mucks up anything I was doing there. I feel like a vicar or something. This. Is that what they do? I don't know. Anyway. 
So yeah, the idea is, you know, if you've got like a lower top or something like that. Jesus, I can't tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, it kind of um, gives you the impression of something there. So as I say, if I've got, obviously I've got my tattoo, I'm not getting rid of my tattoo. So that is here, whereas it would be showing otherwise. Whereas then, if I just want to wear something, you know, bit for work or whatever, uh, it hides it. Yeah, and we're happy with that. So, you know, it's for that kind of thing. I've, I've say I've got a white one. But you can have a look on there. They've got, like, loads of different ones. I think it's a brilliant idea, rather than having to buy, like, separate things underneath all the time. Um, yeah, so there's that one. As I say, they do really quite ornate ones and bigger collar ones and all sorts. So check it out, check it out. Right, so I'll just leave it on for a minute. So, yeah, I've got these... Um, it's one of those headbands that I've shown you for a pound, which, you know, can't be that, can you? I've got these two, um, they're kind of insoles, but they just go on your, you know, on the balls of your feet. Just because I saw them, I just thought, oh, I might as well get them. Never know when it might come in handy type thing. And I think they were just over a pound or something like that. So yeah, I don't know, they've got little, uh, so what do you do? Do you put them, I suppose you put them on your foot like that, and then... I've got some cushion in there, yeah. it's handy. Yeah, because sometimes in the summer, although I suppose they would show with uh, with some sandals, but you could, or some you know, open toe shoes anyway, you could do that, because they're quite hard underfoot, aren't they? If you haven't got obviously tights or something on. So perhaps, we shall see, won't we? You know, I'll update if I do actually use them. Then I'm just doing these um, three kind of gardening things. So if you're not interested in that, I will say bye to you now. But do try and uh, start to stick around. Right, look at these. They're my monster claws. And they're in purple. <sighs> so that was good, wasn't it? Right, so they're gardening gloves, obviously. I've got a couple of pairs of gardening gloves anyway. Sorry for that huge rustling. But, um, so they're another pair. But the thing is with these, they've got these detachable claws on them. Or are they not detachable? Well, they're not. So one hand... You've got the claws, which is the right hand by the looks of it. Let's try these on with my claws on at the moment anyway. These are those Primark ones that I got in the last haul. It's been on ages. They're really, really good, actually. Anywho, I digress. So, yeah, so there you go. They're nice. Uh, they're quite thick. They fit really well. But they're for things like, you know, if you've got to um, do, uh, obviously, roses or anything with thorns and stuff. You know, whereas the other one is just a normal one. Which, uh, yeah. Actually, I think that you can wear them whatever. You can wear them whatever side? No, you can't because you're not. Anyway, <laughs> thinking out loud, which isn't always a good idea, Lou. No. Um, so, yeah, anyway, there we go. So, that's them. And they were quite cheap. But they're handy. They're handy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Welcome back, Lou. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. You can have those castanets as well, didn't you? Um, so yeah, they'll, they'll be handy and they will be used uh, at the allotment with my other couple of pairs that I've got. Haven't done anything at the allotment yet because obviously it's been like horrible weather and everything, isn't it? But um, in the next couple of weeks or so, I will start doing stuff down there. I've got a lot of the things. I've got my wheelbarrow and everything now. It's just not, it's just not down there at the moment because it's been terrible weather. Anyway, let's take these off otherwise I'm going to keep it on all night. Then, also thinking about... Um, thorns because they're little bees aren't they you know um i've got this thing uh, i might put the picture up on the website then again i might not because i've already done all the links and it's uh, extra work isn't it so, hmm. anyway what you do apparently is you can get uh you know, get this in your hand like this and then strip the thorns or whatever off of it another little handy thing you know these little gadgets sometimes they're worth their weight in gold aren't they and this is a more sort of traditional uh, gardening tool. It's a dibber. They're, I think they're calling it a plant, plant or something. But it's blooming useful because what it is, obviously, when you've got well, not so much seeds, but you know, little seedlings or 
bulbs mainly you uh, obviously put that in the ground wiggle it about a bit so you make the hole and then it's also got the um, measurements on there so in centimeters and inches because most bulbs and things they uh, they're supposed to be a certain depth so there you go that's that and that wasn't that much at all very handy again so I think that's the lot in it I think that is the lot so yes well done Sheen again that one dress was a particularly uh, tight considering you know they're all the same size and all the same material actually so hmm but I will uh, as I say I'll try that one in a couple of months I'll also do uh, another video soon just about basically me starting on Simming World and that but I'm not going to go into it in too much detail because I did some of that last year uh, so I'm not going to bore you with that I'll, I'll bring it up now and again uh, same with my hair, I'm going to do stuff about um, hair, um, which is a, it's a bit of a touchy subject because it's more about sort of uh, female hair loss and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be doing all about that because I am like sinning most definitely up here and stuff. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, and what else? I've still got to do an introduction video to this channel. Um, and just one generally about what I in, intend to do this year, basically. So those are the next few that I'm going to do. Oh, since I'm finished off my Strictly series, which I know is terrible. It's almost like, well, why bother now? But, uh, you know, it, it, it's silly just like finishing it there. I have to do it. I've actually got two that I recorded that I haven't actually put up yet. And then the last few I will just do into like a, an amalgamation and then be done with it until this year. So, yeah, so that's all for now, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, was there anything that you liked in particular? What was your favourite? Would you get any of the dresses in particular? I, as I say, I really liked the colour and um, sort of style and the um, fabric of the first one. Love that, the navy. And obviously that polka dot one, the, the last one for work, that was brilliant. And uh, I love this as well. Yeah, so I've done pretty well there. I didn't spend that much. Um, so there we go. So uh, very soon, in fact, I think now they've got um, spring summer stuff in. So I'll be having a look at that, but not for another at least month or two. Mm, yeah, I think early March, something like that, because uh, you know I would have lost a little bit then. Although I'll probably still be buying the same size, it'll just be a bit looser, won't it? Buy a few little bits and pieces. Anyway, I'm uh, going on. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, and I hope you did, please do give it a thumbs up because every thumb counts. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.